Uh, Howard Woldridge, co-founder of LEAP, Law Enforcement Against Prohibition. A uh, question for Dr. Volkoff. The, uh, my colleague, a couple months ago, was testifying before the House as to the, and I asked the question, which drug is more dangerous, heroin or marijuana? And she was unable to answer the question, if in part, because as far as I know, there's no information from the federal government upon, uh, which drugs are more dangerous. The, whoa, the, the Lancet, four years ago, put together a study which showed the 20 most dangerous drugs available in the UK. The most dangerous drug they, they determined by a certain criteria was alcohol, uh, and then it went down from there, heroin, etc. cetera. Um, in my experience as a street cop, alcohol was the most dangerous drug, causing more pain, suffering, and death than all the others. Why is it that NIDA hasn't done a study to aid lawmakers in making decisions on drugs based on the relative harm and danger uh, of the drugs? Why hasn't that study been done like the Lancet has? Actually, that's a very good question. And um, one of the, the re reasons why you have, uh, I mean, if you take drugs, right, obviously, and you ask that the question is, heroin more dangerous than marijuana, that a very, that's a very uh, easy answer. Pharmacologically, heroin is much more dangerous. And this is because uh, the relative dose at which you are producing an overdose is much, much higher than the doses that are required to kill you if you smoke marijuana. But if you put the same question vis-a-vis -vis heroin more dangerous to alcohol, I'll say it's also very simple. Heroin is much more dangerous than, than alcohol, but again, because the dose that will kill you is much greater than the doses that will produce overdose with alcohol, which also can kill you, but you require much greater doses. So when you are making an analysis of the negative consequences of a drug in a community, you need to understand that those are going to be driven not just by the pharmacology of the chemical substance that you are dealing with, but the access and availability and norms that regulate the consumption of those drugs. And this is an argument that I've always uh, make, and that's why I started with these two. The most devastating consequence to our society in the United States are from alcohol and tobacco. And it's not because they are the most dangerous. It's because they are the most available, because of they are legal, and the norms accept them. That is the fact. So when we're looking at what influences uh, adverse effects, it's not just chemistry. It is social constructs. And to the question, does neither fund? Certainly, we've been funding for many, many years studies that relate to epidemiology and basic pharmacology and biochemistry, biochemistry to understand what are the unique characteristics of drugs, not just vis-a-vis -vis their um, addictiveness, but also their toxic effects, as well as studies that are undergone to understand how policy then influences that consumption and the adverse effects of the drugs.